um, where did this name Papagana come from? Yeah. So, uh, just to break it down for you, the Papa doesn't mean father. Okay. It means uh, someone great from Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like, I don't know if you guys know Papa Wembe. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's a uh, greatness from, mm. uh, uh, from Congo. And that's what it means. And it's an oath to an uh, uh, illegal taxi driver, a snodder, how they call it here in Yeah. Here. <laughs> and um, he uh, is, a, is, a, is a person that always took care of people, especially the Ghanaian community, by uh, offering them free rides. Uh, also, uh, yeah, relating with them on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's actually a, a myth from uh, the, the, the Ghanaian culture in Amsterdam. So I felt like I should uh, give him an oath, more or less. I did not know this story, so that's really cool. And that was also your kind of DJ name, right? Back in the days? Or yeah, my artist name. Your artist, artist name. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. do you still play? Yeah, the I can play, but uh, yeah, it's time to pass the torch uh, to the young kids. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. Well, you guys, like I said in the beginning, have been reclaiming the narrative of Africa for a very long time now. And I'm saying reclaiming instead of changing the narrative because with daily paper you've really been pushing what's already there in africa mm -hmm. um what has been the change so far in the netherlands since you started daily paper yeah i don't want i don't want to say that we're reclaiming i think we're changing a certain perception mm. a certain narrative obviously in, when you grow up in a western civilization or um, the, the the public view on africa and on of african cultures is always uh, stigmatized Mm -hmm. uh, when you see the, the OSCOM advertising or the charity advertising, you'll only see poverty. Yeah. And we felt like, yeah, it's nice that you guys do that. But there's also a different side of Africa people should know mm -hmm. about and see. Um, so like, for example, there's also a skate culture yeah. in Ghana or in East Africa. There's mm -hmm. also a graffiti culture. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a streetwear culture. All these things are all present, but people don't get to see that mm -hmm. because they feel or they think that that doesn't exist. So uh, when started Daily Paper, we felt that we had to uh, incorporate that in our DNA, in our ethos, yeah. in our aesthetic, in everything that we do. Do you feel like that people in the Netherlands or all over the world, because of Daily Paper, have that the narrative of that, the perception of Africa has changed? Because mm -hmm. the interesting thing is we were both born here, right? Mm -hmm. And yes, you go to Ghana. I don't know if you used to go to Ghana with your parents. I used to go to Ghana back in the days with my parents. Yeah. I wouldn't really see the club scene. Mm -hmm. It was until I was at the age of maybe somewhere 20 years mm -hmm. old. I mm -hmm. can't remember that I used that I went to Ghana with my friends mm -hmm. and my sisters and really got to see Ghana for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So have you noticed that because of Daily Paper, the people over here um, have that you guys have really changed the perception as well? I wouldn't say it's because of daily paper. I think it's, uh, it's a certain timeline. So I would say after the World Cup in South Africa, um, uh, African culture became more accessible mm -hmm. for the Western civilization. And obviously we started uh, the brand based on that maybe four or five years before that. But it really contributed yeah. to people getting to know uh, about uh, different countries and the cultures within Africa. Mm -hmm. So uh, the music part also played a huge role in the whole uh, perception that people have of Africa. Yeah. So if you have like artists like Wizkid, uh, like Burna Boy. You, which you also have collaborated with, right? Yeah, all those artists coming out, out of uh, different parts of Africa. And they all contribute to the, to the whole bigger story that well, you and I are talking about. Yeah. So it's a perfect time where yeah. actually everybody, yeah, everybody all over the world yeah. felt that need. Yeah, and also um, if you look at, for example, um, yeah, back in the day in, in, the, in the Netherlands, uh, some Ghanaians were afraid to mention that they were from Ghana. Yeah. Have uh, you had that also? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Me neither. People always used to call Ghanaians or people from Africa Boku. Boku. Mm -hmm. And that was more or less from the, uh, the Surinamese community mm -hmm. and obviously uh, they felt that they were somewhat better than Africans uh, but I always reminded them that you're we are from the same continent exactly so don't let don't let people tell you something else